All right, quick update on my PvP set, bis list for this assassination rogue. Now keep in mind, this is obviously my opinion, and I'm basing this set on me playing with a heal druid, which means I need to get as tanky as possible, which is basically just stacking resilience. To achieve this, I'm going full wrathful set with all the off pieces. So we also socket full resilience whenever we can. We have the stun reduction meta gem. You can go for the fear reduction. It's fine. Also, the full damage one is fine as well. Whatever you prefer. In terms of weapons, I like a fast one in my main hand. Mainly because it procs more deadly poisons. Deadly poison is not normalized for your attack speed or for your weapon speed. Meaning, fast weapon gives us more procs. It's basically it. Now, if you don't have this one, obviously you want to get the heroic version if you can. You can go for the slow PvP dagger. Now, a slow PvP dagger means more burst damage with mutilate, but a little bit less consistent DPS when you have good uptime. Now, in terms of the offense, again, if you're going for the slow one, more burst, the fast one will give us a cheaper shift. It's only 34 energy with 1.4 attack speed. If you have a 1.8 speed weapon, shift will cost 38 energy, so 4 more. And I use shift a lot, that's why I go for the uh, quicker dagger. If you're not using shift, you can go for the slow one. If you have two slow weapons, I might try this out at some point. You have uh, really good damage with your mutilate. <laughs> now in terms of rings, there's a really nice obvious choice. It is the reputation ring. This one is really easy to get. All you have to do is go ICC a bunch of times and you will eventually get this one. In terms of the second ring slot, we do have some good choices. The first obvious one is from the first boss. Really nice stats, hit haste attack power, can't really go wrong with this one. I would go for this just because it has more raw stats. The 277 item level really, well, helps us in just overpowering our opponents. And also really nice, a yellow socket spot, giving us the, the 20 extra resilience. So we're only losing 40 resilience if we exchange this ring. Now there's actually, in my opinion, an even better choice. And that is from Rotface. This one, which gives us 60 expertise, which is really nice. Because it's really annoying gouging someone and then they just parry or dodge. And you basically did nothing. You spent your energy for nothing. It And also it gives us a good DPS bump against like warriors, DKs, pracs, where we're just attacking them into their face and they're dodging and parrying a lot. This will help negate that. So this is a really good choice. If I could, I would put this in immediately. Also, a nice fact for us, both these bosses are really easy on heroic. So you should get yourself a puck and like, prioritize one of these rings and you'll probably get it. Now there's a nice uh, option for our cloak. Also, the easiest boss in this raid, heroic. You will always get this one on heroic, the the gunship. This cloak is really nice. Just it just has nice sets, crit haze, attack power, and also a yellow socket, giving us uh, the socket bonus if you go for the resilience gem, which I would go for. Also, a nice thing we are a little bit hit overcapped, so. Uh, this one doesn't have any hit, so we could actually lose this one in terms of hit and still be fine. In terms of trinkets, there are some obvious DPS choices. For maximum DPS, Deathbringers will and... Where is he? This one. Tiny Abomination. These are our technically best trinkets in terms of raw DPS. But in my opinion, like this one will be very contested and this boss is also very difficult. So you might only get the non-heroic version and at that point 
I'm not really sure if you should go for this. Again, this has a lot of hit, which I'm not a fan of. I'd rather have something else. There is a good 10-man trinket we can go for, which is this one. Gives us crit and a nice on-proc effect. You can't really go wrong with this one. And another good option, in my opinion, is this trinket you can get uh, for 60 frost emblems. Really easy to get. Um, and the, 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 the stats are kind of good. Like haste is not that bad. And you will have a constant 340 attack power buff, basically. As long as you're attacking something. Also really nice. I still have this death verdict from last season. It's still good, um, but I would exchange it immediately, obviously, for something like this, or even something like this this tiny abo, if I could get it, even a non-heroic. Just because of the item level, you can, if you, for example, are a little bit overcapped on hit, which we are, and you get this trinket, we can exchange the cloak and the neck for the crit versions, and we'll be fine. Obviously, you have your throwing dagger, uh, throwing weapon, or a deadly throw, and you are fine. That's basically it in terms of my biz list. Now, if you have any questions, feel free to ask. And yeah, that's basically it. See you in arena. Bye bye.